It's easy to watch League of Legends these days and take the incredible quality of play for granted. They really get prey turns of back turn! Look at Bang! Look for it all! He's got one! What else can he get? It's gonna be Blake in his sights! He's coming back! Baker's low! How much more can they get? The stun's coming in! And it's Duke with the big play! With the turnaround from Prey! Turning it back in! The chase! The resonating strike! And the ace goes through for Peanut! But more than that, it's easy to forget that it's not just the quality of play that's grown, but the community as well. League of Legends always had potential to be the massive global hit it is now, but it took time to realize that. Season 1's World Championship was one of the first times the entire world got to see truly international League of Legends competition at the highest level, and a series of clashes between Fnatic and Against All Authority defined it. Their matches set the bar for quality of play and drew record viewership. The Dream Arena is packed with over 1,200 people at this point in time. We have about 80 to 90 people sitting in front of us right now. <laughs> really? Like, th th this place is just crazy. It's like humongous and there's like so much free stuff and so much to do. From the beginning of Season 1 Worlds, Fnatic and Against All Authority seemed fated to make history together, meeting first in the group stage and then again in both the upper bracket finals and the grand finals. Each time the two teams faced off, they had to play better than ever before, one-upping each other with a series of plays that deserve their place in history. Nice down, you can see he's oh, blow straight towards the tower. The tower's okay. going to get a double hit on him. He's surely going to finish him off, though. He's going to pull. He's got the ulti down, but I think that barrel is going to roll straight into it. Big fat belly in the face. And Greg is his, his that's, that's a fast barrel. Big Oh, he's going to try and get in, try and get the steal, and oh, Sonnet does go down close. very quickly. They didn't quite get the steal, though, but the Ash Arrow has just missed completely. Oh, he he's going to get away, and I think Nunu is going to go down. Actually, Fnatic will come out very well on top of that, and that's going to be Niva going to get rebirth straight away. I think down the bottom, I can see there's also someone chasing on Gragas down the bottom, and that's going to be Mama going down, so that's... While against all authority would edge out Fnatic in their best-of-one group encounter, the two European teams met again in the upper bracket finals. In Game 2, Fnatic's jungle Jungler Lori Cyanide Happening would put AAA on notice with an incredible Baron steal on his Jarvan the Fourth, nearly guaranteeing Fnatic the game and series. And I'm not quite sure it is yet. The fight Stolen. has started, and it's it's grabbed by Fnatic. It's a good shape for them. Let's see how this fight's going to turn out. Looks like Kuja already dead. Yells are getting crushed right now by Shushay and the rest. And this is looking so good for Fnatic right now. This is Fnatic, the winner bracket finals. They are going to win that one. Moving on to the grand finals, guaranteed top two Fnatic moves. Down the next uh, Fnatic have not lost a single game since day one. Triple A did push through against Team Solo Mid in the loser bracket finals, and they are back to fight for their share of the $100,000 total prize purse. 32 minutes into the second game, AAA had Fnatic on the ropes, but Melisan was looking like he was about to escape the fight with his life. That's when Bora, Yellowstar, Kim did something incredible. They are going to lose a double <laughs> shoot. She goes down, and coming across was the Ash Arrow. A beautiful job. She is all the way down in middle. We're against all authority, and they are going to turn that fight around. With the stakes so high, with so much much on the line, Yellowstar still stepped up. His Ash Arrow instantly became legendary. Like they are going to lose a double <laughs> shoot. She goes down, and coming across was the Ash Arrow. A beautiful job. She is all the way down in middle. Season 1 World's plays don't hold up as well as more recent moments in League of Legends history, but that doesn't mean they should be forgotten. Yellowstar in the grand finals of the Season 1 Championship. I'm sorry, but there was not a better time to make an epic arrow in a do or die situation. It wasn't just the peak of play at the time. It was beyond what many thought could be done in the game. It was a glimpse of what was to come. The roaring crowds, the high stakes, and of course, the plays getting better and better every year. Killed, and they even got the pick off on Bay. Rox doesn't actually have to stop pushing right now. They can delay the recalls. The arrow! Look at 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 the arrow! each other so far. Gonna be in the bush with Brand missing the pillar of fire. He is just standing in the null zone, flashing over the edge. We see the ultimate from Brand coming around. So as trying to do a lot of damage here. Momo comes in trying to lay down the ultimate as well with a Nivea. A great amount of focus. Cyanide falls as Ramus and it is going to be two down in that one as Malzahar also went down. Fnatic, it looks like they are going to lose a double. <laughs> Shushi goes down and coming across.
Fnatic went on to win the first world's title. Oh Fnatic my. going to win the season one championship. If they can hold on, this Nexus will go down. Congratulations to Fnatic. But together, against all authority, and Fnatic pushed League of Legends further than anyone had before. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content, be sure to hit that subscribe button.